Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Aries at the foundation, please? Four of Wands, Aries energy at the foundation. Okay, so this is an energy of celebrations. It's an energy of harmony right there at your foundation. So this is the energy that's framing your foundation right now. The Fool, Aries, again, that's your energy right there at the sacral. So you've stepped out on faith, Aries. You've taken a chance on yourself, and it's completely worked out for you. This could be past energy for some of you. This could be happening right now. And for some of you, you're getting ready to do this. So just know you are supported. Whenever you step out on faith and take a leap into the unknown with the divine, I've never actually heard of somebody not being caught by the divine. Okay? Because this is you putting yourself first, realizing your highest potential, leaving all the struggles of the past behind. Because none of them or whatever it is, supported you. I feel like for you, Aries, it was people. Quite possibly a marriage, family members. It's just an energy of not being supported. You feeling powerless to your environment. Always inferior to those around you. And I feel like even people you are in relationships with. I always get this in your readings, Aries, and the Sag readings. Like your partners compete with you, which is so weird, right? It's like they like you to have low self-esteem. So they can keep you stuck, so they can, can, so they can control you. They want you to have a lack of self-confidence. For some of you, these individuals just completely broke you, destroyed you. You thought they were attracted to you or drawn to you because of your self-confidence. You being in full control over your life. And for some of you, they took advantage of that and completely broke you. This is over with now. You've moved on. But it wasn't without learning some hard lessons, Aries. That's why... Even though you're leaving this really, really painful cycle behind, you are better for it. Oh yes, you are. You understand this. There's a lot of yellow on this table. This is all related to this solar plexus energy, which is all related to your confidence, Aries. You're taking the power back. You're not allowing yourself to be isolated by these individuals anymore. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, healing yourself, right? There's your self-confidence right there. You're holding it in your hands. Look at all that yellow, right? So you're going, wait a second. That's, that's my power in that jug right there? Yes, Aries, it is. They took it from you when you weren't looking, right? This is you taking the power back. What do we have at the heart, please? Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. A lot of inspiration in this reading here, Aries. This is a new beginnings. A lot of power, courage. You're in a point of creation right now. You're creating a whole new life for yourself. There could be business or creative ventures attached to this as well. I feel for some of you there is. They wanted you to be bitter and hateful, right? See, heart chakra energy, a blocked heart chakra is going to have you being bitter or hateful, lacking empathy. Here you are, shaking that off that branch, right? That green could represent that bitter and that hate. You're shaking that off. No, I don't think so. What do we have at the throat position, please? Oh, I guess they want me to take that one. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy at the throat. And you're in this very studious energy now. This is all about new beginnings. This is you using your intuition moving forward. Synchronizing with your divinity, your purpose. But I feel as though this is a, a whole new timeline. Page of Cups is like the first step in the game. So you're on the next ascended level in the game here, Aries. For some of you, you're communicating about this, what you've been through. That could be the creative venture here. What do we have at the third eye, please? 
Emperor at the third eye. Aries, your energy again. So we got a lot of Aries on this table. Aries, 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 Leo, Sag, Aries. So you're showing up in your reading, Aries. This is you taking authority over your life. Building a solid foundation for yourself moving forward. This is all about strategic planning. Planning that I feel you're doing with the divine. Now that you've stepped out on faith. Emperor at the third eye? Oh yes, this is divine guidance. This is God himself telling you how to move. Right there at the third eye. These are messages you get from the divine. Third eye and crown chakra position. What do we have at the crown, please? Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Whew. Wow. I mean, what else is left? I feel like almost all your cards are on this table. Two, three of Wands we still need. Queen of Wands. Tower. We got like half your cards on this table, Aries. A little more than half. Nine of Wands, right at the crown. This is you in this very lusty, free-spirited, creative energy. Best of bo both worlds. Emperor and Knight of Wands. It's power, but it's youthful. It's strong. It's vibrant. It's got energy, right? What do we have at the foundation from the occult tarot? Let's see what demons were keeping my Aries root chakra blocked, please. Nine of Wands, Sag energy, Marcosius. This is an energy of this isolation coming to an end. No more resistance, Aries, moving forward. This is you having faith, creating boundaries moving forward, not putting your foundation, your stability at risk. This is you building, Aries, and now you have too much to lose, right? You were driven to the point where you had nothing to lose which is exactly what you needed to attain this. So interesting, right? You had to be pulled to the lowest lows to build again, only better, only more sound, only more stable, and having more experience and wisdom in doing so. This is going to be an unbreakable structure, Aries, that you're building here. What do we have at the sacral? The moon, Beelzebub. Cancer energy, and one of the seven high princes of hell. Right, look at that guy. Makes manifest the apparitions of demons. Sets demons upon men to destroy them with vices. Some of you could have been in relationships or situations where there were actual vices, addictions that were projected onto you, meant to keep you stuck, not see your full potential. Sacral energy, your passion, your creativity, having you function out of a place of pessimism place of fear feeling isolated this is you seeing the truth now and trusting your intuition moving forward some of you could have been dreaming about what was taking place here the individuals you had around you truth coming to you in dreams and intuitive downloads what do we have the solar plexus please eight of swords folklore this is an energy of self-imposed mental restrictions, right? But this is you releasing yourself from this now. You heal yourself and the healing releases yourself from some sort of... It's like a place of you feeling imprisoned to your circumstances. These individuals had you functioning in a very low vibration. Not allowing you to see your worth. Heal yourself. Your worst enemies in your face the entire time. You thought that by proxy... They were all for you. But no, they weren't, Aries. They were sent into your life to destroy you. Marbas, unrestrained living. This is Ten of Wands. It's an energy of stress and exhaustion. This is what they had you trapped in, for a lot of you. Running out your life clock. Not allowing you to see your potential. Every day was something with these individuals. Some sort of stress or just drama. Always some sort of accident or bad news or... I'm just picking up on so much chaos, Aries, that you've left behind. And this is the energy you're moving into. Mahasiya, rectification, which is the Four of Wands from the Angel Tarot. So we have Four of Wands twice now. For some of you, you're already here. 
I got that at your foundation. That was your stability, the energy I was reading on your stability. But for some of you, you're still heading towards this. Energy of celebrations, energy of harmony, stability. For some of you, marriages, new friends, building a new family on the ashes of the old. What do we have at the throat, please? Five of Swords, Aquarius Energy. God, the highest being, desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. These are these individuals being caught, you ending all these unhealthy relationships in your life. Not holding on to any sort of past resentment, though, in doing so. Understanding that to hold any sort of resentment or ill will to the past does keep a tentacle in your current day. You don't need apologies, Aries, but you definitely do not need them having any sort of real estate in your current energetic environment. I hope I'm making myself clear there, Aries. You release, let go, and move forward. Leave them where they stand. Do not entertain demons, Aries. Keep it pushing. You have way too much to lose. To entertain them gives them a win. What do we have at the third eye, please? Six of Swords, also Aquarius energy. The gentle God. Perception of unity. Protects against accidents. Heals the sick. Unbelievable. It goes along perfectly with what I'm saying. Six of Swords is all about moving on. Transitioning, right? Doesn't it look like this angel's kind of like throwing something over their shoulder? Like, oh, actually, it looks like they're kind of flipping something off, right? That's you flipping off the past, Aries, right? Stand in your power, just giving it the bird. And then giving it a little flower. What do we have the crown to close this out for Aries, please? Page of Swords. What a perfect ending. And here they are, right? They can't even speak, right? God's tied up their tongue, which is telling me that you're protected from these individuals. They have to watch you from afar. God, the refuge, governs dreams and reveals mysteries hidden from mortals. Like I said about the dreams, right? There's some truth coming to you in your dreams. Pay attention. Write it down. These individuals are going to have to watch you now. They have no place where you're going. They're not allowed. All right, Aries. I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Aries. Take care.